As the state works to slow the spread of COVID-19, several Central North Carolina school districts will begin the 2020-2021 school year in the state's Plan C reopening guidelines, which is entirely online remote learning. CBS 17's Jimmy's Price is live with a breakdown of the school districts that made that move and the district that's still deciding this morning. Jamise. Randy, a lot of these school districts still making plans, and we are exactly one month away from the start of school for most students here in Central North Carolina. Now, Wake County Schools, the largest public school system in the state, is now considering moving to remote learning for the first portion of the school year. They will meet to discuss this a little bit later on, and they could join this growing list of school systems here in Central North Carolina that decided to move to remote learning for the first start of the school year. I want to take you to that list of schools here. We have Chapel Hill, Carborough City Schools. They will operate under Plan C of the state's reopening guidelines for at least the first nine weeks. Durham Public Schools also moving to the first nine weeks to remote learning. Warren County Schools will operate on Plan C for the first quarter, and Chatham County Schools will operate on Plan C for at least the first four weeks of school. Now, earlier this week, Governor Governor Cooper announced that North Carolina schools will open under a plan B option that calls for a mix of face-to-face -face and virtual learning. He says some school districts uh, will have the option to reopen under the virtual option if they choose to. We were trying to find the right balance, and I think that by choosing a plan B, we were trying to go with a flexible but balanced approach where we can do some in-person learning and get some of those benefits of being in person while also acknowledging we need some uh, ability to maintain six feet, have less kids in each of the, uh, of the school buildings. Now, state health experts say the guidance on how schools will move and reopen, uh, that will change as we continue to move throughout this school year. So this is just the start of a lot of those changes that we could see for the 2021 school year. Live in Raleigh, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.